you know, normally in, in an opera, there's there's an overture, there's a there's an introduction to the opera that happens just before the the characters come on stage and start singing. Whereas this, I think I get half a bar and then we're in. <laughs> It's a piece that looks at the world surrounding Rosemary Kennedy, who was the sister of JFK Kennedy and the daughter of Rose and Joe Kennedy. She was born with mild learning difficulties and um, she was one of the youngest women to uh, have a frontal lobotomy uh, as a cure for her mild learning difficulties which was arranged by her father, Joe. It's an almost impossible subject to talk about. And so uh, the result of that has been a piece that is really put together in fragments and pieces and uh, gathered evidence. All the text that you hear in the piece is real text lifted from letters lifted from um, speeches and so on. It's something that is almost bottomless in terms of research. Brian and I have been working on it for a very long time. And in a way, the more stones you upturn, the more interesting offshoots of this material you find. We kind of try not to think of it too much as a role because because of the nature of Rosemary as a, as a person and the family she was from, so much of the information has been redacted. Um, it's archived, so it's all autobiographical, which is also biased. Um, so it's, it's sort of a situation where it feels like Rosemary can never be fully formed. The whole piece has this kind of underlining aspect of uh, disruption and incompletion and something not being what it seems. So it, you always get the sense through the whole piece that, that something is trying to get somewhere and not being able to or not being allowed to or held back or something. It's this kind of renegade aspect to it which always feels really fresh every night you do it. It's a strange piece because although theoretically it's about one person, it isn't at all. It's about not just a period in time, but something that affects all of us at all times and how specifically we behave with young women. All the things that happened to Rosemary Kennedy, all the sort of manipulation of her, the way that she was perceived within the family and outside the family, all taps into our understanding about how we measure and value humans and human life. It highlights, you know, the extreme misogyny, psychophobia, homophobia um, of the era and how sort of the perversion of power in such a patriarchal capitalist society can literally and, and sort of permanently destroy a life. First president of the United States of America. When did the American Civil War end? When did it begin?